guys, you guys, there's three of them. You have to be kidding me, look. One, two, three. Out of it. What do you guys reckon? Well, oh, dudes, it's huge. From its uh, predator, whenever it is scared. Pretty crazy, huh? So, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have the entire beach to ourselves today. Let's see what we can find. Pretty excited to do some shelling. Look at it. Have no idea how rare these are. Look at this. We have one live fluorescent bubble shell and then a baby right there. Let's move Mr. Krabs here. Look at that. Look how tiny that one is. Oh, these are so rare. I only ever see like one every eight months maybe, but look at that. How awesome is that to see? Look at those colors. You can actually see its eyes right there in the top side of its head. Oh my goodness, I think they're eyes anyway. How unreal is that? Wow. I love that. Bye, mate. Let's just move Mr. Sea Cucumber because I don't want him to eat this part. Oh, what? There's another one! You guys, there's three of them. You have to be kidding me. Look. One, two, three. Live bubble shells. Oh, this is so rare. I usually only find like one every eight months, but look at this, a whole family. How unreal is that? Oh, that is just so cool. Each bigger than the other. I'm gonna say that's dad, that's mom, and then that's the child. <laughs> that's just incredible to me. Look at the size of them too. There's the baby, that one, and that one. How unbelievable is that? Wow. I lifted up this rock once before, maybe six or seven months ago, and I believe this guy was here way back then. Look at this. We have a giant Arabian cowrie. Look at that shell. That is just incredible. Anything nice down here while the water's clear? Can't see too much. Look at that. How awesome is that? This guy is giant. It's so cool to see him still here. Sitting under the rock. This is obviously his home. We have a very old Rosa. Wait, was that another one? Right here? I think it is. Is it alive? Whoa, it's alive. That's awesome. That's for sure his son or his daughter. That's definitely his kid. Look at it, it's barely grown yet. I'm gonna hold both of these, these fellas. That is so cool. Wow. My glove off. I want to hold these two without the glove on to show that these guys are completely safe to hold. How cool is that? Look at him. He's actually moving around. That's awesome. So we have a sub-adult live Arabian cowrie and an adult Arabian cowrie. Look at that. How awesome is that? That is so cool. Now I'll be able to slide him back under. Oh, he's pushing him off. All right, let's put these guys back at the rescue right now. As you can see here, there's a massive shell there, but first we have a sea hare or two uh, drying up pretty fast. The tide is still going out. So eventually this supply of water that keeps coming in every couple of minutes will run out and they'll probably dry up here. So let's just grab them up. Oh, they're pretty stuck. Come on guys, you're gonna die if you stay in this little area. Oh, it's just one fella. So he's uh, released some purple ink, which is basically a like hiding mechanism. When they're in the water and they release that ink, as you can see, it's like dye. The ink is not poisonous, but it acts as like a distraction for the animal to get away from its uh, predator whenever it is scared. Pretty crazy, huh? So yeah, you can touch this purple ink. You can, you know, it's not gonna hurt you at all. Pretty cool, huh? He is very scared. Sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to scare you at all. I just didn't want you to dry up. But uh, as you can see, he's moved relatively quickly into hiding while all this sort of purple ink has distracted me. Uh, whatever animal might have been trying to hunt it. Pretty cool, right? I've never actually caught that on film. 
Now let's check out this monster bonnet shell. Holy moly, that is enormous. Real shame about that crack there. Well, that's a giant. It's super thin on its sides. Wow, it's almost kind of a freak because it was growing this extra bit here. Dang, that's huge. That's a pretty cool little story and a pretty cool shell find right there. Nice, I'm gonna keep that for sure. Let's come across this thing here. Pretty positive, it's obviously a bonnet shell, but I'm gonna say that it is alive because the way it's sort of dug in like that. Yeah, it is, wow. That's pretty cool. I wasn't too sure because his shell is like really rough like that. It's probably been stuck up in these little tide pools here for quite a while. Um, so what I'm what I'm thinking of doing is putting him further closer to the water because look, there's no way for him to get out of here unless the tide comes up and there's no way that he's going to be able to sort of swim away because there's no water. So we're going to put him closer to the water and save this little fella. He's super dry, like I definitely could see that he was uh, trying to cover himself up as much as he can stay out of the heat I guess so let's take him back further down look here's another one of his friends but that's a crab inside that one we're gonna put him a bit closer so he has a better chance okay saving a seashell pretty cool huh we're gonna put him just here so if he needs shelter he can just hide away under that yeah all right buddy have a good one eh I will catch you later sweet nice save yeah he'll definitely be okay now I think we might have a Nicobar Triton here I've found so many of these pieces of these the last two years probably six or seven pieces never ever found one hole this is gonna be very exciting oh yes yes guys Look at that red. Oh my goodness. I've got to show you guys my face right now. I am thrilled. It has been forever since I've even found a piece of him. Oh, dudes. The top is missing the tiniest bit, but that is a Nicobar Triton. Wow. Finally. I've always found like the inside lip pieces of them and they've always been red like that. Finally. Yes, that is so exciting guys. Holy cow, just sitting in there. Got some rocks in it. You're kidding me, still got a bit of hair. That is a fresh shell. Yes, that is so worthy. Let's keep going guys. Oh my goodness, I knew exactly what it was when I saw that red lip. I was like, you're kidding me. Quickly pull the camera out and boom. All right, let's see what else we can find. Guys, that right there is a giant textile cone shell. Holy moly, these guys are super deadly if they have the original snail inside of it. What do you guys reckon? Well, oh, dudes, it's huge. I've got to be super careful right here. Oh no, that looks scary. Look at that, the top is missing, but it's looking all right so far. Super, super dangerous shell right here. Look at the size. I'm holding it on its outside edge. If it's alive, then the snail will be in here. What? All right, let's check it out. Looks good. Yes. Look at that color. Absolutely nothing inside there. We're gonna oh. find a lot of bonnets today. Here's my second one so far. Barely stuck in there. Looks like a really nice color. All right. Grab her out. Yeah, it is. Awesome. I love finding bonnets after big swells for like weeks. There's just hundreds that wash up. Awesome. A lot of them break. Like that one though, unfortunately. Very nice. We got a bonnet here at Check It Bonnet Bay. Whoa. Holy moly. That was crazy. We got another one coming. I'll have to get it in a second. It's crazy here right now. Far out. 
I've got to be very careful. Don't really want to go out into that. All right. Should be good now. There it is. Nice orange run. Oh man, it was actually just growing its next layer of shell and it must have uh, passed away right before it completed it. Dang. Let's get into a little safer spot here. Oh well, it's still a nice shell, eh? Nice little bonnet shell. I'll keep it, of course. Awesome. Let's calm down a bit now. Anything in there? Nope. There we go, it's calmed down a lot now. Look at that. That's cool. I love this little area here. It's so pretty. I have a lot of little honey holes here too. Let's see like this one. Sometimes there's an octopus that hides underneath there. Doesn't look like he's home today. Super low tide right now. Very exciting. Hasn't been like this for a few day or a few weeks actually. First shell of the day right here. We got a nice little uh, checkered bonnet shell. Pretty sweet. Decent size, decent color. Very excited about today. Haven't been showing in uh, a couple of days. And it looks like we have the whole beach to ourselves. We got a twofer guys. Look at this, second Arabian of the day. Hopefully it's not uh, live, but it would be cool to see a live one. And a bonnet shell, but look at that. We got a, uh, what are they, sea hair down there. I wish I could put my phone underwater. Wouldn't be a very smart idea though, because that is a very cool shot. Awesome. But let's check out these shells. Yeah, nice. Very nice bonnet shell. Awesome. Very cool, love it. And then a, uh, another Arabian. Is it empty? Yo, sure is. That is nice, huh? Really decent size. So an Arabian carry and a bonnet shell. Awesome. Drop a like down below guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Try to upload as many shelling videos as I can. Awesome, check it out one of these shells in so long like weeks maybe even over a month but look at the size of this giant moon snail here pretty decent to be honest yeah very decent that's for sure pretty stoked on that and then right next to it literally touching it yeah it was a curica or corica cowrie that's awesome I love when these fade down like this. Usually they are green with like tiny brown spots all over them. But whenever they fade down on the top here like this, they turn purple and blue. Pretty cool, right? Two nice little finds there. Anything back here, actually? I don't think I've ever found anything back here, but I always check. Guys, little shell tip for you guys who do go shelling. Check in the places nowhere else would. No one else would, sorry. Look at that sunset.